So I got this update notification on my iPhone 15 Pro, hint, hint, and it's from the creator's app. I've been dreading this process and it's probably worse than going to the dentist. I mean, nobody's ever died from cavities, but have there been people that died from Sony firmware updates? Bruh. I'm going to go over two methods on how I'm going to update this camera. And this applies to the A7 IV now. It applies to the ZV-E1, obviously. A6700, A7R5, you get the deal. Newer cameras. With this newest process, I'm going to be updating from the app. It may break my camera. Who knows? I've got pro support. But still, nobody wants to break their camera, right? So let's get started. Before you get started, make sure you can pair to the camera. Here it is, I'm already paired. I have another video on how to do that. Once you're connected, we're gonna do the update through Wi-Fi. I believe that's just how this works. Let's see, version 1.02, uh, do you have to sign in? Oh man. All right, so the downside is that you have to sign in. Do I even know my account? Well, the second method I'm gonna do, which is later on the video, will not require a sign-in. For the rare occasions, my password isn't saved here and I don't remember it. So I'm just gonna have to reset my password. Like I said, these things are a pain in the butt. The second version of how to do this is gonna be a lot easier. All right, this time around, I'm gonna save my password. Okay, let's see. Verify sign in. H. All right, next. Agree and download. File size 967 megabytes. And we are going to start. So it gives you a progress, which is good. And it's, it's pretty quick. I mean, it's just zooming right through. Let's just see what happens. So I imagine, okay, it shows right here. It's going to get it from the cloud, downloading to the phone, and then it moves it over to the camera. But what happens during the move process and something gets interrupted because this camera is just going to sleep on its own. So will it sleep? Who knows? Let's just give it a second. Okay, so when it finished, it says transfer files to camera. Okay, so transferring files. So I got this error. The Wi-Fi network does not appear to be connected to the internet. So what? Use cellular data. This update may take several minutes. Device automatically reboots when complete. 1.00 to 1.02. Okay, so execute and you're done, right? Let's show the other method. This method works, okay? Save device software to the media. You can perform software updates from the version of the menu later. Okay, so what happened is that the file transfer to the camera and now is asking to say, well, it's just telling me it's going to save it. So if I want to do it later, then set up option, version. Look, it says software update. Okay, so that means that that file is saved onto my SD card, which is excellent. So this is, it's a pretty darn good job, Sony. You made a logical decision and it was good. Okay, so that said, I am going to cancel and I am going to format my card. As you can see here, this software update is no longer available because I formatted my card. Now I am going to do the software update via another version. Okay, so this other version of the update, I'm going to the home of the creators app. All right, you want to go home. You go to your notifications. And here's the software update, click details, and then download it. Just download it directly to your iPhone. I'm using the 15 Pro. I feel like this is the better way. You hit download, go down here, finish the EULA, click download, 
And this method, sign in, create account, or download without an account, that's the one we want to use. And then hit download. So the download is complete, right? Now, I am going to connect the phone to the camera. This is the iPhone 15 Pro. And it should work with any iPhone 15. And remember, it took like minutes just to transfer the file via Wi-Fi. But now, we are going to connect via image MSC. And that's going to have a direct connection here. So this thing's going to show up. Here is the untitled PH Home. So that's the camera. The untitled is the camera. But and let's take a look at it there's nothing in the folder and what we want to do now is get the download that we did earlier it's under either on my iphone or the favorites downloads okay so you go to the downloads folder and it's body data dot body data <laughs> it doesn't even have an extension okay so you hit share and save to files and then browse untitled okay so you want it at the root of this device hit save it doesn't tell you the progress but since it's usb-c from the iphone which has a 10 gigabits per second connection it shouldn't take that long okay so let's see I guess the downside is that it doesn't tell you the status of how long it's going to take. So we just have to wait it out. It's done. I believe that was around 20 seconds or so. So I just want to verify that it's there. And I don't even need to verify here. I just unplug and verify on the camera. Now it should be on the SD card. I don't have to worry about any Wi-Fi connections. And just like how the Sony was done, you hit the software update, follow the precautions, make sure you have a full battery because if you don't, you may run into problems. It may not let you update at all. And no, I'm not going to update right now. There's one thing I have to do. I'm running a third party battery in here. I am not going to update with this Nightcore. So now, Authentic OEM battery. I just don't want to play those games when it comes to firmware updates. Okay, now I could just go back into the menu, version, software update, read the precautions, and execute. So there's a red blinking light at the bottom and it's a bit stressful because it's blinking and the screen is blank. You can't really tell what's going on other than the blinks. I imagine it'll get to a certain point, it'll blink really fast and it'll be done. Oh, finally it is done. Battery update complete. Okay, so I go to version. Okay, version 1.02, I am complete. Just to verify what the creator's app is telling me. So everything on the app is still working. The camera has been updated. So eventually all of the cameras, they're going to have the same update system. And this app, I, kn I know people crap on it, but it's pretty great. I mean, you could just swap from one camera to another one if you have multiple cameras. I mean, how cool is that? On top of that, the experience is just so much better. So there you are, two ways of updating your firmware. One with the Creators app, and it works surprisingly well. It was basic, moved the files over, and you did the SD card update. There's no chance of failure, really. I mean, if you can't get the file over, sure, it's not going to work, but it's not going to break your camera. And the other one, which my preferred method is, is going straight to SD card from phone. That way it's it's just as safe, but you don't have to give your information to Sony willingly. And moving the file is just so much faster. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. 
See you in the next one. Take care.